PCBs have traditionally been really expensive to buy and incredibly hard to make. But now that you can mill one out on your desktop or very cheaply order one, it's easy to play around and see what other weird crap you can use them for. Two years ago, I had an idea. The popular Pepecura software is usually used in papercraft, and it takes a 3D model and unwraps it into all the little faces that make up the model. Then it adds glue tabs and spits out a PDF so you can print out the pages and assemble your model from paper. What if you could use PCBs instead of paper? This is what I came up with, a 3D model of a face assembled out of milled copper-clad PCBs, with integrated circuitry that actually traverses the folds of the model. The first thing was picking a model and unwrapping it in Pepecura. I chose this spooky face model, and all of these are all these individual panels that will actually make up the mask. See these like kind of ones with the little hooks on the edge? That's the nose piece. Most of the panels were ready to get milled out immediately, but I took a few of them and imported them into KiCad to add traces and footprints. Once I had the right panels imported and lined up correctly, I added in a microcontroller and a couple of LEDs where the eyes would be. Routing traces was tricky, but I did my best to line them up across the panel interfaces. Then these panels could be exported from KiCad and milled out just like the others. it is. These are all the panels with the traces. The last and easily the most tedious part was sanding a chamfer into every single panel so that they would meet flush with each other and gluing all of the panels together. That whole process took about 18 months on and off. Initially I tried to solder the panels together, but they really did not want to join like that. I ended up using some super glue with some baking soda to instantly cure it and add some structure, and that held the panels together really well. Okay. <laughs> I mean, look at this thing! And it's got f circuits in it! So cool! Oh man, I'm dusty. Ugh. <sighs> With a final sculpture, I gave the whole thing a really good sanding, soldered on the components, programmed the microcontroller, and it lit right up. I wanted to display it in a cool way, so I used some copper tubing I had laying around to deliver power to the mask and mount it to a base. A little bracket that glues to the back side of the mask accepts the tube. And a 3D printed base provides a sturdy frame that keeps the whole thing stable. This project has me thinking of all the other weird, crazy crap you could use PCBs for. PCBs are fundamentally just another 2D building block, and there's no reason they can't be used like any other 2D stock material. I've got a ton of ideas of other things I want to make using PCBs in super weird ways. I put a bunch of my inspiration for this project in the description. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing and check out my Patreon, where you can help me build more weird stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. But before I go, I want to thank this video sponsor, PCBWay. I've been using PCBWay for all my designs recently, and they always come out absolutely gorgeous. This whole project was all done on a mill, but I want to try and start making them more complicated. Doing three-dimensional stacks of boards with like wiring going through them and weird mechanical things. So I'm going to be asking PCBWay to make some of these weird things for me, and I have no doubt they're going to be able to pull it off. They've done so in the past. I've had some really weird asks of them before with what I'm trying to do with my board and they've always been able to make it happen really well. I am genuinely, honestly, always impressed with the quality of the boards that they ship out. If you're looking for a board shop to make one of your designs, I highly recommend PCBWay. Thank you so much to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. This is gonna be a lot of work.